Hello, welcome to this video in which we are going to look at a really useful technique that you can use to help you solve 6x6 Sudoku puzzles. It's quite a simple method, um, but it's still powerful. And the key technique really is to realize that the three numbers that appear in the top of a box here are the same three numbers, um, perhaps in different order, that appear in the bottom three cells of an adjacent box. So these three values here are the same as the three values that will appear here. The three here are the same as the three here. And the three that go here are the same as the three get, that go here and vice versa. So the three that go here are the same as the three that go there and so on. So I'm just going to color those um, to make it nice and obvious, uh, each of the pairings. So those three and these three are red. And let's put these three as orange. These three are green. Then these three are also green. These three as blue. Oops. Okay, that's better, that's blue. Then these three are blue. And if we put these three as purple, these three are purple. This is looking very colorful. And this is, let's have gray. And therefore, these are gray. So we can use this fact to help us solve the puzzle um, at any stage of the solve, really, um, either at the beginning or later on. Um, and it can really help you place a few digits at the start quite quickly. So we know that these three red squares here are the same as these three red squares here. So therefore, we know that these are 1, 5, and 2. There's only one place for the 2 there, so we can just put it straight in. And here we have 1 and 5. Well, this can't be a 5 because there's a 5 there, so that's 1. And therefore, that is 5. So we've used this method to help us see very quickly um, what all three digits are in these two placements. Uh, we don't have any digits here yet, so we can't do the same instantly. But we do know that these are 3, 4, and 6. And therefore, these are 3, 4, and 6. Um, so let's have a look. In fact, so this can't be a 3, and this can't be a 3. Um, so in fact, we can put the 3 there. Now let's have a look here. So we have a 3 and a 5, and a 3 and a 6. So these digits must be 3, 5, and 6. Well, there's only one place left for the 5 here, and there's only one place left for the 6 there. We now know that these must be 1, 2, and 4. 1 can't go there or here, so it goes there. And therefore, these are 2 and 4. That 2 stops this being the 2, and therefore, this is the 4. Um, here, we have 1, 2, and 4. As well in some order, well, the one could go there or there, the two there or there, or the four there or there. So we can't instantly place those. Down here, we have one, three, and four. That's the three options. So there's only one square left for the four. Therefore, which is here. And these are one and three. Well, this can't be a three. Therefore, that's where the one goes. And that's where the three goes. Uh, now we can look at this one, two, four and ask where the one, two, four goes here. This can't be the one here due to this one, and it can't be here due to this one. Therefore, we place the one there. Where does the four go? This four here is stopping that one. Therefore, that's the four. And that's the two. Uh, let's have a look at the others now. So what's left? So um, here we have a two or a six. It can't be the two, so it must be the six. And that's because in this column, there's only two and six left. Uh, so that's the 6. Now we know we must have a 3 here somewhere. So where can the 3 go? It can't go here because there's a 3 there. Therefore, we can place the 3 down in this square. And that completes this column because there's only one square left for the 6. This column we can complete in the same manner. There's only one square left for the 2. And we can now complete this box because we know it must contain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we can place the 5 there. And then we know that these contain 6, 2, and 5. 
The five can't go here. It can't go here. Therefore, the five goes there. The two can't go here. Therefore, it goes there. And therefore, the six must go there. And now we can finish off. We've got three and six here. Well, we know there must be a six, but it can't be there. So it must be here. And now, look, we only have one square left um, in this column and this box in this row, which is a four. And therefore, this is a four. And let's check if that's correct. Yep, that's correct. So that's a really useful method that you can use to help you um, solve a six by six Sudoku fairly quickly. And as highlighted here, it's by remembering that the values that go in the top three squares of one of these two by three boxes must partner with these here. They must be the same. Obviously, the order can be different. So you can see now we have one, five, two, five, one, two, two, four, one, one, two, four, four, one, three, four, three, one. 625, 265, 536, 356, and 364, and 643. And so that's how the method works. I okay, hope you find that this video is useful um, and that you're able to use this technique when you're solving 6x6 Sudoku puzzles yourself. If you found this video useful, then please do like the video and also subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you subscribe, then you will be notified when we release new content and it helps to support the channel. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.